Hi guys, I just want to give a small update on how the fuel plan is coming along. <coughs> Woo! -hoo. Loading. Mm-hmm. So this is how it looks now. Select the airframe, general info, flight plan, inserts two point, deletes two point, and reset button here. Click. Got the uh, weather tab now for uh, the presets for Netter. You can load them here and you can then edit them manually. Uh, one thing to note here is uh, if you want to enter stuff as it's presented in DCS or how it would make more sense uh, you can change this setting here and we got the payload tab cleaner interface now uh, with the relevant info timing fuel uh, can uh, do time over target if you want to uh, depending on the, the playtime or the combat zone and uh, all that it will give you a timetable here and then you can uh, also specify recovery type and in the fuel box here you can uh, manage your fuel you can optimize depending on the mission parameters such as uh, air to air refueling and uh, uh, combat uh, playtime also, you need to, this is very important, set the diverter field, the main, you know, in order to uh, get uh, joker and bingo values for uh, the whole mission. Here we got uh, fuel burn and the landing fuel, estimated obviously. And every time you change the stuff here, you need to update. This one, I'm just showcasing here, I'm not going to use the detox. You have the summary tab with all the relevant, relevant info for the flight. If you're using DTOT, this will show the clock for the steer point. If you're not using time over target, it will show you lag time. Take off a landing data card. We get uh, the ability to select the runway we're taking off and landing and the runway condition reading for, ch for each of those. This will subsequently give us all the info we need. So let, if I change, uh, for example, to this, it will change all the uh, parameters for the takeoff. So since I'm gonna do UG, UGSB, UGVS. 32. This is Gatiani. Yeah. You have all the relevant info. That it was for the A10, for the F5. Oh, almost the same. Payload tab changes, obviously. Timing fuel. Uh, this time it will uh, give you the suggested uh, fuel tanks you need to load in order to complete the mission successfully. So I go back to the payload tab and I get 275s and I need uh, 150. So I go back here and look at this. We can uh, complete the mission with, uh, with those tanks. Obviously this is not a standard loadout but it is what works. And here, almost the same info. Take off a landing data, similar, but uh, uh, it has some changes in regards to the info it shows. And the landing data here, too. Got the About tab. And that's pretty much it. Exit it up. Well, never mind. Okay, that's it.